What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys in this video I am going to show you that how you can install Proxbox virtual environment on your Raspberry Pi 4 board so that you can easily run multiple virtual machine and use your Raspberry Pi 4 as a server and also you can access all the virtual machine only using your browser. So without further ado let's get started. But before that, if you need to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. Okay, guys. Now to install and run Proxmox 7, I will recommend you to use the Raspberry Pi 4 4GB RAM variant at least. Because this Raspberry Pi 4 4GB RAM variant has all the capabilities to act as like a server. And you can easily run this Proxmox 7 on this Raspberry Pi 4 board. So you should use the Raspberry Pi 4 version to follow this video tutorial and also beside this you need an SD card, a power adapter and an ethernet cable so that you can connect your raspberry pi with the ethernet cable with your router and can power up via the power adapter. So you also need all of this thing to install the Proxmox 7 on your raspberry pi 4 and run it. So now let's get into the video. Okay guys now you can see my computer skin. Now first you have to download and install the raspberry pi imager on your computer so that we can flash the raspberry pi operating system on a SD card and we can use that SD card with our raspberry pi 4. So open up your browser then search on google raspberry pi imager then go to this website raspberrypi.com slash software then scroll down and from here download this raspberry pi imager software and install it on your computer i had already downloaded it and install it now after that take your micro sd card and connect it with sd card reader then using that sd card reader connect your micro sd card with your computer via the usb cable or the usb port okay now click on start and search for raspberry pi imager software then click on it to open the raspberry pi imager software now from here you have to make sure you have follow me step by step do not miss any single step otherwise you will get error while installing the proxmox server so click on choose os then from here select on raspberry pi os other this option then scroll down and you have to make sure you have installed the raspberry pi os 64 bit without the desktop environment and you have to make sure you have installed the bullseye operating system do not install the upgraded operating system of raspberry pi os you have to install this bullseye operating system so click on it then click on choose storage and select your sd card then go to settings now from here you have to set a host name for your raspberry pi i'm going to keep it raspberry pi then you have to enable the ssh and here you have to set a username and a password for your raspberry pi ssh connection then click on configure wireless lan and here you need to type your wireless access point name and the password if you want to use your raspberry pi in wireless mode then scroll down set the locally and also you have to make sure you have selected your wireless country then click on save then click on write and yes now this raspberry pi imager will start flashing this raspberry pi bullseye operating system on our micro sd card it's gonna take some time so you have to wait until the flashing has been completed okay guys now here you can see flashing has been completed now click on continue then close the raspberry pi imager software now remove your sd card from your computer and connect your sd card with your raspberry pi board then give power to raspberry pi and your raspberry pi will start booting it's gonna take some time to boot completely so you have to wait until the boot has been successful now when your raspberry pi boot completely open up your browser and navigate to your router admin panel then from here go to dhcp then go to dhcp client list and here you can see on the client name the name raspberry pi and the assigned ip address now you can copy this ip address from here now click on start and search for cmd now using this common prompt you have to get ssh access into raspberry pi so type here ssh then the raspberry pi username whatever you said during the installation here i'm going to type mehdi shakil then type at the rate and type the assigned IP address of your Raspberry Pi. In my case, this is 192.168.0.110. Then press enter, then type yes, then type the Raspberry Pi password, whatever you said during the installation, then press enter. So guys, now here you can see I get SSH access into my Raspberry Pi terminal. Now, first of all, type here sudo apt update to update all the Raspberry Pi bullseye packages. It's gonna take some time, so you have to wait until the updating has been completed. Okay, so updating has been completed. Now, again, type here sudo App upgrade to upgrade all the latest packages it also gonna take some time so you have to wait until the upgrade has been successfully completed during the upgrading open up your browser take another tab and search on google pi mock 7 github 
then go to this first result github.com slash pymox and this is the repository to install the pymox 7 or poxmox 7 on your raspberry pi scroll down and here you will get a complete installation guide here you can see the first step is to flash the raspberry pi os on our sd card what we already done then after that you have to get root permission of your terminal then you have to follow all of this command so let's get back to our cmd it's still upgrading so you have to wait until the upgrading has been completed okay so guys here you can see upgrading also completed now clear your terminal and type here sudo s to get the root terminal here you can see the prompt is changed from medi cycle raspberry pi to root raspberry pi now go to this github repository and you have to download an installer script using this command so copy this command from here and paste it on your raspberry pi terminal then press enter then type here ls and here you can see we get an script to install the poxmox on a raspberry pi now we have to change the permission of this script and give it execute permission so type here ch mode plus x then type the script name then press enter now after giving the permission type again ls then you have to execute this script so type here dot slash then the script name then press enter now this is script going to automatically done everything to install the proxmox 7 but you have to manually configure and put some prompt so here you can see first prompt is asking for host name i'm gonna copy this example and paste it here so that this script can set this as my host name of my raspberry pi then press enter now here you need to give any static address to your raspberry pi so i'm going to give this ip address 192.168 dot zero dot one one zero because my router give this ip address to my raspberry pi so i'm going to do this ip address and set it as a static ip address then type here dash 24 give the net mask then press enter if this ip address is okay you will get your default gateway ip address like this if it's correct press y then press enter then give this script permission to make all of these changes type y then press enter then set a new root password for your proxmox here i'm going to set a new password then press enter then again type the password then again press enter now this is keep going to automatically done everything what you need to install the proxmox on your raspberry pi and successfully run it so it's gonna take some time so you have to wait until the downloading and installation of all the requirement packages has been successfully completed so sit back and relax okay guys now here you can see we have successfully installed the proxmox on our raspberry pi and after installing our raspberry pi has been rebooted and here you can see in this from this script give us this url to access the proxmox admin panel and also it asks to upgrade all the packages so let's follow this script so again get ssh terminal into raspberry pi then change your terminal to root type here sudo dash s then type here app upgrade dash y then press enter and this command going to setting up the pv manager for us you can see everything has been updated if anything show you operation not permitted again type that command and press enter and now here you can see it get fixed now after that we have to browse on this url this is our raspberry pi ip address followed by port number of proxmox so open up your browser and type here 192.168.0.110 the raspberry pi ip address followed by 8006 this is the port number of proxmox server press enter if you get this type of connection private error click on advance then click on proceed to unsafe okay so guys now here you can see our proxmox server admin panel to log in into the server type the username root and give the password whatever you said during the installation on the script so here i'm going to give my password then click on login if you get no valid subscription pop-up just click on ok ok so guys this is our proxmox virtual environment 7.2.7 .7. now using this virtual environment server you can run multiple virtual operating system on our raspberry pi so guys like this you can easily install proxmox virtual environment server on your raspberry pi so guys that's all for today i hope you like this video if you really like this video and enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends and guys if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification i'm Mehdi shakil you're watching his tech tutorial and i'm signing out